Oh, well, hello there, clueless newbies. So glad you could join me to, for another episode of Misadventures in Minecraft. I'm just doing a spot of mining here, trying to get some of the, the old item reserves beefed up here because while well, I fully intended for this, pro this episode to be focusing on my storage system project, but I have nowhere near enough iron for that. So, hmm. Okay there. Diet Pepsi is uh, not conducive to talking on camera. If you get what I mean here. So, did a little mining, trying to find some iron, and got a good good haul of booty here. Got 11 diamond ore blocks. I mean, they're just coming out of the caves left and right here. Only tw stack and a stack plus 12 of iron ore. And I think I'm going to need a whole lot more than that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run back to the base. I'm going to show you the layout for the storage system. And we're going to talk about some of the features and stuff. And uh, we're just going to knock this redstone down right there. Yep. And then we're going to probably pop into the nether and do some, uh, probably do a quartz mining session. You know, super, super warp speed time lapsey style. And if there's anything cool comes along, well, I will stop and show it to you. And um, last time I was in Nether, we did find a Nether Fortress. We might dive into that now that we got some decent armor and some good weapons and stuff. Speaking of armor, I haven't shown you guys this yet, but got a full set of Protection 4 Diamond Armor on. Got some Feather Falling and Depth Striding on. Got a pretty good sword here. Got Sweeping Edge 3, Unbreaking 3, Sharpness 4. I'm not sure if Sharpness goes higher than 4. I don't think it does. Looting 3. So yeah, this would be a good farming sword. And I'm going to chance to die Pepsi again here just to see if it interrupts my flow again. Then of course we got some tools. We got subscribe, like, and comment. So be sure to do what they tell you to do. And all decently good enchants. Now all of these enchants, some of them were put on via the enchanting table. But most of them came from my insanely overpowered AFK fish farm. Which is one of the reasons for the storage system project, because I have got chest on chest full of stuff. And it was getting a bit unwieldy. So we're just going to run down and... Oop, oop. Redstone. Gas to get the redstone. Because we'll be needing to do quite a bit of redstoning for the storage system project. So back to the storage project. All right. What I want to have happen is I want to have all the farms I set up down in this underground base area. I want to have the output from those farms flowing automatically into a system that will separate the non-stackable items from the stackable items, ship the stackable items onto an automatic item sorter to be sorted and stored, and dump all the non-stackables into a huge collection of chests. You know, no particular order or any organization to them. I can manually sort the non-stackable items because the only non-stackables we get are fishing rods, enchanting books, swords, and uh, saddles and leather gear and stuff like that. Both said I was going to be pitching into a garbage disposal, which we'll have to build as well. Oh, hello. Oh, that's right. I wasn't recording this section, but this is what's the last uh, mining shaft we dug, right? One row away in the main foyer of this mine. There's some diamonds just hiding. All this I dug. Because I started here. I started with this guy. And I went this way. Looking for diamonds the whole time. There's diamonds right there. I mean, I'm not British, but I'm going to use a bit of British slang here. And these sons of guns are being cheeky and hiding from me here. If any of you guys are from... UK or Britain, please, please tell me if I use cheeky right there, you know? I, I'm just not, I just don't know how to speak the proper English, you know? Definitely not up with the Queen's English. Alright, so heading back to base with all the wares. And of course, it's dark outside. Why am I not surprised? It's always dark outside. And uh, in case you guys didn't know, creepers, huge jerks. 
Because look at this. Look at this. Reaper decided it would be a good idea to jump on in here. And then I'm over here feeding the cows, and all of a sudden there's this creeper in my face. And he just blows everything up. All the cows, gone in one fell swoop. Window, gone. Fence, gone. And there's another one of those jerks up there. Alright, creepy boy. Oh, of course. These freaking creepers just can't stop blowing the crap out of my base. Maybe it's maybe it's just time to move. <sighs> okay, rotten flesh don't really need rotten flesh. I got a zombie farm for that, so we'll leave that there. You may notice some things missing here: chests, bed, uh, furnace, crafting table, etc. They're all down here now. And you may notice that this is a lot cleaner. There's not chests everywhere, because when I realized I couldn't do the storage system project for this episode, I went and I built a manual storage room. So now we can just dump all of our stuff right in here. Alrighty. Let me go ahead and put this stuff away real quick. Granted, it's not as efficient as... Ugh, and I also, I can never tell the difference between andesite, gravel, and stone. The icons all look too much alike for me. So as I was saying, granted it's not as efficient as auto storage, but it will do for the time being. And I have all these chests just full of miscellaneous junk because I haven't finished sorting them yet. Alright, so now what we want to do is when I go through, we want to find some torches. Oop. There's, there's some torches here. Because as you recall from our last nether episode, we use torches to navigate the nether so we don't get lost. And I forget where I heard that tip from. You know, I heard it somewhere. I, I very, very little of what I do here in Minecraft is original thought. It's mostly all designs and ideas I get from other people. That needs to come over here. Go. And let's grab a stack of food. Alrighty. Just realized I had a, almost a full stack of food in my offhand. We'll just put that back. You guys didn't see that, right? Good. Okay. Good, good, good. We need a couple stacks of stone. We'll grab two stacks like that. And it is... Oops, not night anymore. And we're off to the nether! Creepers! Alrighty. Ugh. I don't know what it is about creepers blowing up, but every time one blows up and disturbs the terrain in my area, it just makes me so angry. Anyone else have their problem out there? Anybody else, you know, anybody else not a fan of the creeper explosions? There we go, well, let's grab some coal, why not? And we'll, we will not fall into it, not that kid doesn't go anywhere. And we'll take note of the giant spruce trees. I've added some new types of trees to my area for farming trees out of, and that's an interesting arrangement of leaves here. Not even gonna ask. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! What the hell? Whew! That, that, that was a bit hairy. Unfortunately, I didn't bring, you know... Anything to relight that thing with. Okay. Alrighty. Me thinks I might be a bit stuck here. Okay. So. Yeah. The creeper must have must have been a creeper explosion. Creepers. That killed my nether portal. Fantastic. 
I don't have the materials to make a flint and steel with me. How in the heck am I getting back home from this? Maybe I could try to get a gas fireball to blow up nearby and, and ignite it. Okay, well, you know what? I think we're just going to go ahead and go to ludicrous speed, and I'll figure out how to get home later. Okay, ooh, blazes. They shoot fire. I might get them to reignite the portal. Come on. Come and get me, blazes. Come and get me. And, uh, come on. Chase me. There we go. There you go, yeah, chase me. Come on. Come on, come, come, come light my fire. Let's do this. It's like the old door song. No, you, you need to come around the corner so you can shoot the portal and light it back up for me. Stupid blazes. Come on, chase me. Let's go. Let's play tag. Oh. Hello, Gasty. You shoot fireballs too, don't you? Come on, where are you? Come on, you little Gasty. You're not good for anything else. Come back here. Fine. Close. Very close, Gasty. Very close. Let's go here. There's a little chicken jockey down there. Okay. Uh, what does that appear that netherrack can use to spread fire back to the portal? Alrighty. Damn 
not going to try to harvest those because there's nothing underneath to catch them. Hmm. Only I had a bucket. Okay. Random uh, cobblestone there. Okay. So the blazes aren't chasing me. The gas isn't chasing me. Come on, Gasty. Come on, light my fire. So close, come on. Turn around, Gasty. Come on, turn around. Uh, repair the floor here. Okay. Where are you at, guest? Yeah, yeah. There's the guest. Oh, come on. You can do it. Hit the portal. Come on, Gasty. Come on. Oh, come on. Fireball is right online and it despawned. Seriously? Did the whole. The gas completely despawned. <sighs> OJ, you don't make it easy on us, do you? So, a torch? No, torch can't light it up. Fighters, just so close. It's literally one, two, three blocks away. Oh well, okay. My netherrack is really, really soft, obviously. Well, I don't want to die, so I had to try to figure something out to get this portal lit lit back up. I don't think there's any iron spawning or flint in the nether. Um, blazes. Thinking either blaze or gas is probably gonna be my only, my only hope to get this thing relit. So lost in the nether. Not so much lost. I know exactly where I'm at. I just don't have any way of getting out of here. Make my block. Gotta make my block light up the light up the portal. You think? Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, let's just drop down here. And get the nether quartz. You zombie pigmen sure are loud. Okay. Don't think I can redirect the lava all the way over to there to light it up. Well, this will definitely teach me not to come to the nether about a flint and steel. And I could spawn one, but what's the fun in that? Alright, here another ghast. Maybe get lucky on the ghast thingy. Zombie pigment. Why are you guys crowding me so much? If you, if you, haven't you ever heard of personal space? Too many crickets, you guys. Alright, let's get closer to the portal. Let's put all this fire out. Alright. 
Or is that ugly little gas the ad? I, I heard ya. Where ya at? Oh, come on. Don't be that guy. Just show up, blast my pearl with a fireball, relight it so I can go home. And we'll be friends. So? Not a hard job, I don't think. Okay. Well. Then maybe I can try looting a blaze over here again. Get close enough to trigger the spawner. And try to slowly pull them over this direction so I can get them a line of sight to the portal. Okay. Come on, Blazy. Get out of there. That is, uh, that is lava flowing. Over that back. There we go. That's the sound I wanted to hear. Whew. Okay. Stop that. We don't need that here. It's too precarious, damn it. Okay. Now uh, you can, you just have to come and chase me now. Okay. Come on. Oh sure, one despawns. <laughs> you guys need some lateral movement over there. Okay, so maybe... I mean, blazes aren't the way to go. Unless I take the obsidian, reconstruct the... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, we'll just move the obsidian. We'll just move the portal. Go away. Alright. And hopefully we won't be moving far enough to delink the portal from the other one in the overworld. But you know what? Any spot in the overworld should be close enough to home where I can find my way back. No problems. Alrighty. 14 obsidian. Um... Two, four. I should only have ten. Oh, now you want to show up and sure. Now you show up. All right, we're gonna go build it over here because the blazes are probably a bit more reliable than you are, Mister Gasty. Okay, so we're gonna go. One, two. Four. Four. There we go. Alrighty, Mr. Gasty. Seriously, I build the portal and you despawn? Mm. Alright, let's see if we can get some blazes to light this up for us. On the other hand, I am getting plenty of netherrack. Mm 
So that was summon the fighter. Imagine that would make them angry, being that they're in all. Oh, hey, there's some blazes there. Oh, no, 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 no. There. Wait for the fire to go out. Alright, fire's out. And, uh, up we go. There you go. Suck on that, you damn blazes. Alrighty. Come on. That was my line. Come on. Okay, I'm on fire. Let's count. Son of a gun. Alrighty. We get just Hit the big black frame. Just then it rack down. Really? 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 Come on. Hit the obsidian frame. This is not a small target. You can do this. Alrighty. Okay. I thought I heard another gas. No, don't suppose there's any gas hanging out over here. <sighs> Alrighty. Well, it's supposed to be a simple trip to the nether. You know, just, sure, pop it to the nether. Grab some quartz, qu quartz, nether quartz. Yeah, I hate that word. Let's pop in here and grab some nether. There we go. Alrighty, come on, guys. This way. Over here. One of you's. Hey, we did it! We ignited the letter, the nether portal without flint and steel. Oh, yeah. Jerks. And we su did we successfully relink back? Um No, we uh did not keep our portal linked. Okay. Not a huge deal. Because we can just we can craft everything we need to make the tools to get back home if we just can't walk home. But I want to do a little exploration here. If we can figure out how to get back home, we can go through another portal again at, at our base. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna take this one down. I'm gonna break one block out of it. 
There we go. I'm just gonna look around. Look. Because we can't be too far away. I mean, we didn't... I know it's eight blocks for every one block in the nether, but... We didn't go that far in the nether. Okay. Hmm. Alright, I think I'm gonna take the whole thing down with me. Oh, wow. Simplest of things becomes the most difficult of things if you develop proper planning. I shouldn't have gone to the nether without a flint and steel. And I gone with flint and steel, right? Secure the area, kill the mobs, and then relate the portal. Very simple. No, I had to, you know, move the portal to get the mobs to relight it so I could get back home. But, that's why we call this adventure misadventures in Minecraft, not adventures in Minecraft. Okay, grab some of this. I see some sweet berries down there, so if I can get... Uh, yeah, I should really get down this way. Yeah, feather falling, so I can fall quite a distance here. Well, remember how I, s I mentioned that we might have to think about moving? Well, <laughs> we just may have moved. I hope not. I don't want to start all over. We're just going to go ahead and snip some of these berries off. So we can bring them. Okay, there's some iron down there. Let's head. I didn't go too far from the world spawn. Now let's assume the world spawn is at zero, zero. Right? That means I need to go towards negative X for a ways and towards negative Z for a ways. Right? I mean, I think pretty fair bet. Say we're going to head towards negative X, and this is a very interesting terrain generation. <laughs> looks like somebody built a wall with a door in it here for crying out loud. One block thick, that high. Yeah, it looks almost like somebody tried building a wall here. But the coal ore tells me that was not the case. All right, positive Z, negative X is this way. That's swamp or stuff over there. In towards negative X. Got 150 blocks to go this way. And, yep, just gonna grab a little food here. Might as well do a little hunting on our way back. Nice thick forest biome, though. Um. 500 some blocks this way. Gosh, I, you know, I, I hope I'm right in that, uh, my assumption that the world spawns at zero, zero. I, I really, 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 really hope that's the case. Uh, okay. Alrighty, we got plenty of sugar cane. I'm not going to worry about grabbing that. I saw it. I'm not worried about it, though, because we have plenty. We have cows, but I'm not gonna. I'm not even sure I'm going the right direction to get home, so. Not gonna try to lure them back because I don't wanna be going luring them forever. Ugh. Much uncertainty. Not a fan of this at all. Again, one item. Not having one item in my inventory. Could be sending me on the. Whoa, that's pretty wild over there. <laughs> Birch tree at the very top of a mountain. Okay. So, am I going in, in the right direction, even? If I can't find my way back home, I'm going to go back and watch the footage and get the coordinates where I came out of the nether portal at. Okay. Let's 
keep going. We're almost at zero zero. I th I, that looks familiar. We, we might have moved a few hundred blocks off the world spawn. I, I, I have hope. Yeah, it's, oh, we're back. Wow, okay. So now what we're going to do, is we're going to go pop back through that portal. But first, we're going to deposit some stuff in the storage system, and we're going to grab a flint and steel. I know I have at least one of them somewhere, because I had to light the portal on this side to begin with. There's a the flint and the steel. Here, we'll throw the that. Oh, three, two and a quarter stacks. Okay. Find a miscellaneous box. And we'll just throw the rest of that in here. Pop that out. Pop that in there. Throw that in there. Stone, stone can go there. So you can go here. Okay, now. Go ahead and relink our put that portal up there. Really? It was freaking daylight out when I went down. How are you telling me it's gonna be nighttime already? Oh, look at the spider convention over by my portal. Uh, oh, that's a lot of skellies up there. Alright, we're going to retreat through the portal. See it? Seriously? What the heck let me on fire? Okay, so where did this portal come out at? Okay, looks like it came out. Okay, so I think now I have the portals properly linked. There we go. And successfully... Did I? No, I did not. Successfully relink the portal. Alrighty. And, yep, I uh I left me uh obsidian back in the base. I thought the portals would relink up. No, I'm back here again. I think I'm gonna cut a tree down. Make a sign. Put it right here. And it's gonna say abandon all hope ye who enter here. Alright. Going back through. And we are going to move the portal again. Well, this is why I, I, my channel name is called Clueless Newbie Gaming, and I am certainly earning that moniker right now. That is for sure. Wow, this has got to be one of the most uh, failest of Nether fails. All right, let's head back over here. You're a creepy business, dude. All right, this. this. That. Okay, so we're gonna do one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Three, four. Drop down. Pop, pop. 
Um, didn't I just grab a flint and steel from my uh, storage system? Seriously, what's, what's going on here? I definitely grabbed a flint and steel from my storage system. Well, you know what? This is where we're going to call it a night here, boys and girls. I don't even know what to do anymore. I came in here thinking I had a flint and steel, thinking I could move the portal, and everything would be good. I don't know, I'm gonna go back and watch the footage and see what I did wrong. What happened, why I don't have my flint and steel here. Ugh. It, it's just frustrating. Oh, don't even give me this, you stupid little ghast. Because you're just going to despawn. You're not going to actually do anything for me. They miss all on creepers. So maybe I can get lined up here. Alright, ghast, if you could just come and shoot a fireball directly at me. Maybe we'll try to get the portal lit without having to move it. Nope. Well, there's an acronym for the situation that I'm in. It's three letters. F. M. Wait for it. L. Yeah. Wishful thinking. Okay. We're calling it here. I'm gonna figure out how to get out of the freaking nether here. Off camera. Probably gonna move the portal again. Go back through, walk back to the base, go back through the portal there, with the flint and steel this time, move the portal back, relight it, and relink it. <sighs> okay. Anyways, get out there, play some Minecraft, have some fun, and I hope you guys all have a good day, and until next time. Oh, wait a minute. Guest, come on. Come on, light my fire. There we go. Well, you better not destroy that. Alright. Can I can I play baseball with him? Okay. Alright, make it a run for the portal. Yes, 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 yes! Just when I, I got around for the Skelly Army. Just when I had given up hope and I was about ready to log off in defeat, the gas actually came through and lit this, the portal back up and we are headed back to base and we can sign off properly. Alrighty. And we'll plunk. We did it. Victory is ours. Now. Before I say goodbye, I know I, I'm gonna say the goodbye like eight times this episode because I just can't get a good close here. Flint and steel. Where is it? I know I grabbed it. I only have one. I put it back in the other box. That sound you just heard was me doing a massive facepalm, very violently. Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna gonna hold my flint and steel in the hand. I'm gonna flip the camera around, and uh, yeah, oh, come on, come here, come here. Position. Can we do this right? Alrighty. So as I was saying, go play some Minecraft. Have some fun. Have a great day. Keep it real. We'll see you next time for Misadventures in Minecraft, 
episode 11 is up next. This has been episode 10, I believe. And in the next episode, we're going to start prepping for the storage system upgrade. Goodbye.